Decision Plus has been and still is a leading stock market service provider. From training to coaching, we cover it all. Try both our software as well as our coaching site completely free for 10 days without obligation. No credit card is needed to sign up for the trial. The trial subscription will be automatically canceled for you at the end. DecisionPlus.com, your stock market service center. Real-time coaching has been created. We search and classify critical reports and technical movements. You can visualize or hear the best buying and selling opportunity. Get real-time advice all day long and free live coaching shows per day. Let us do the work and save your time for trading. Try marketgurus.tv free without obligation for 10 days in the menus above. Market Vision Plus is the trading companion of so many investors. Make your fundamental and technical analysis easy with Canada's number one stock market decision making software. Research, decide, and follow your positions with Market Vision Plus. See the menus just above this program and try Market Vision Plus for 10 days without any obligation after the show. When it comes to day trading, Trader Plus is the right tool. Track 50 quotes simultaneously, create dozens of quick lists, display as many as 30 real-time intraday charts at the same time. Watch the action with candlesticks or bar charts as fast as 10 seconds. See the market by sectors. Use the chart models already prepared for you. Try Trader Plus for 10 days in the menu above without any obligation. Uh, welcome to the swing trading show it's 12:30 april 5th u.s market are very strong today the dow is up 152.3 quarter of a percent nasdaq is up half a percent at is triple resistance we could close on a new all-time high and a new closing high today uh, to have a real breakout i think we will need honestly another 20 points uh, i will uh, another 30 will be uh, better but around the up 50 up 60 this will be a clear breakout on the nasdaq on the dow it's a clear breakout when we look at the neutral uh, formation but when we look at the trend it's just not enough uh, <laughs> i think we need another 150 points to have a real breakout because we have also the the, the resistance at 21,000 at 160 points so it's tough to open position right now volume is not great also but uh, the bullish movement is explained by the employment reports that's very strong it's the private one but after the market deflate a little bit with the old inventory and now we're coming back around the top on the spy same thing we have a breakout but it's less clear we have the trend we have the resistance on the on the spy i would like if we could finish around 238.6 today uh, it's another 1.7 point 1.5 points if it's i don't think this will be possible but that will be very strong for the market. On the TSX, it's still the best one. Yesterday we said it's the best uh, mar it's the best index right now. Yesterday the energy and the Canadian stock market was very interesting. It was super interesting this morning also, but with the oil inventory, it uh, became obsolete, I will say. So for the moment, TSX break, but uh, the resource sector are not uh, as much interesting that uh, that what we will have that we we, we saw at 9 30 uh, this morning venture completely stable if we look at the also look at uso uso we will just close the boom show sure, five minutes oh, sorry for that so uso open strongly because the api inventory the private one yesterday showed a decrease of 1.5 1.8 uh, million of barrel so the market was enthusiastic about this data but at 10 30 the official one it showed an increase of 150 uh, 
150,000. So it's not a big increase, but when we compare with the number yesterday, it's a big difference. It's the reason why U.S. So lost everything, go back negative. But I think that now we could come back uh, and make a new breakout. We could have an entry point for HOU or uh, UCO if we uh, break out on the upside. On the downside, we have a lot more resistance, I think, uh, supports. I don't think it will be interesting. Uh, Nat gas, same thing. It was a breakout yesterday. It was a very nice uh, breakout on UNG. Open positive this morning, double top. This one is less interesting than the than the old gld the gold with the job reports open negative at the supports were rebounding right now completely flat and then trade chart uh, the gold sector is better than the physical gold asset uh, us so cool a continuous rebound and uh, the Canadian dollar is slightly negative with the old, the movement in the old today uh, if we look at uh, the the sector so look at the energy so we deflate uh, all of the movement this morning but now we're coming back so i honestly think that they could have nice entry points right now in the energy sector i think we could continue the movement the mining it was freeport steel uh, tech uh, but at the same time on the old inventory we deflate but right now we're back we could have some movement we will look at it in detail in a second and the uh, the gold sector, most of the gold stock are interesting right now. Uh, so we open negative, but we rebound since then. It's a nice trend. There was an entry point uh, just at the beginning of the show. If you want to open it, uh, uh, this is a five-minute bar chart, so it's not the end of the world if you open it right now. Just close the position if we break the trends for day trading movement. Uh, L care, it's CXR that is very weak. It was a earning. It's a breakdown. Uh, other sector, the industry was uh, breaking out this morning with CNR, but deflate a little bit. Telecom is strong, Tellers, Bell are positive, and technology, I think CGI uh, was uh, deflating this morning. So when we look at the upward sector, the uh, industry was breaking out yesterday, continue today. This is one interesting yesterday. Energy was the best one yesterday, uh, today uh, less interesting for swing trading but for day trading we still have some opportunity mining it was more it was it was a tough sector because it break yesterday but the breakout on were not good yesterday and today uh, and the other sector that did not move a lot Elcare, it's down to 1.6 percent and after everything is neutral if we make new high on material and gold we could uh, move in an upward cycle for the rest of the sector i don't think we could move so uh we had a couple of breakouts in the energy this morning. Now, stock like precision drilling, if they make a move, 645, it will be an entry point for the trading, and you could keep the stock also for swing trading. So I think with the market, the energy, we could have a movement in the afternoon on most of the energy sector. I like also Yangara Resource, Trinidad drilling, if it's go back positive. Uh, Inner Plus, one of the best right now, stay strong. Uh, all day we just make the breakout if you open a position right now 11 11 first exit point will be 1085 cameco uh, did not break out so forget about this one right now bonterra could have a move in the afternoon same for ensco transocean also if we make a newer eye could be interesting and uh, we had a couple also they are not in the energy but technology uh, box mcdonald was very strong uh, they changed some uh, marketing uh, some uh, People at their mark at the top of their marketing uh, division, so they will probably continue to change their menu. Uh, so breakout, nice breakout on McDo. It's not far from an all-time high. Uh, yeah, I think it's an all-time high. If we look, I I one thirty-one ninety-six, one thirty-one twenty-four. So we we're not far from an all-time high today. And this is it for the best breakout of the day. If we look at the gold sector. So if you look at the stock, lo, Cisco is very strong, but stock like I am gold, that wasn't breakout, lo, you could still have opportunity to take a profit today. Uh, a stock like King Ross was breaking out Monday, but if we go to uh, 489, will be a new breakout today. We could have a breakout on Kirkland Lake, Richmond also, Asanko Gold, they are all interesting, Torex, uh, Barrick Gold. And after we have the weak stock, the stock like Gold Corp was, will be more interesting if we have a breakdown on it. So most of the gold stock, the 
you should keep your position if you have opened it on Monday and, you sh and, and day trading it could be interesting during uh, the afternoon. Uh, if we continue mining sector, so mining sector, it was first quantum, but I'm not a big fan of it. It was also London mining. I'm not a fan of it. And share it, share it is up 9%, so it's just too much, too strong, uh, too much risk if the stock deflate. Uh, today and Northern Dynasty was his earning yesterday night, so the stock again, it's breakdown. So very not interesting stock right now, Northern Dynasty. Uh, and the other sector, like healthcare, it's Valiant, down 6%, so the short position was good again Monday. And the other one, it's CXR on its earning down 11%. Don't short a stock like that. Uh, it's a, it's a $1.90 stock, so it could be tough to short. And after that, we have Terra Technology, who could break again. And uh, some of the time I have question on Prometic Life Science, completely neutral Prometic. So if you have open there or there, you should keep the stock still on the support. But don't open the position until we break the uh, triangular formation that we had right now. We don't have a lot of news today. Uh, Japanese was uh, up a quarter of a percent. Um, again, there was a missile test from North Korea. Um, it was not a, it was, I think, a failed test. Uh, the missile just goes 60 uh, kilometers, so it was not big. I'm saying it was close yesterday. I think the, the people in the Chinese are enthusiastic about the meeting between uh, Trump and the president of China. But I think also that this could completely change with some Twitter that we could have tomorrow from Trump. The meeting will start tomorrow and it will uh, be until uh, Friday. It's a mar lago in Florida that the meeting will, uh, will be joined. So for the moment, we could have a breakout or not on Aung San. I don't know what will happen. We go to the ad and we finish with the news and uh, your question. Find answers to your questions by emailing your host at btm at decisionplus.com. Five good reasons to manage your investments with National Bank Direct Brokerage. Commission fees fixed at $9.95 anytime for all clients and starting at only $6.95 for active investors. No administrative fees if you hold at least $20,000 in your accounts. Registered accounts available in U.S. currency. Powerful tools to help you manage your portfolio. Award-winning customer service and satisfaction levels amongst the highest in the industry. To learn more, visit nbdb.ca or call us now. Real-time coaching has been created. We search and classify critical reports and technical movements. You can visualize or hear the best buying and selling opportunities. Get real-time advice all day long and three live coaching shows per day. Let us do the work and save your time for trading. Try MarketGurus.tv free without obligation for 10 days in the menus above. to finish with the European market. There was no important news about it and it's completely neutral. We had a lot of news uh, this morning. Panera Bread, they have received uh, an offer from Jab, GAB. It's a private equity, it's a private uh, firm specialized in the breakfast and coffee. Uh, they bought last year Keurig, Green Mountain Keurig. They bought also a couple of uh, breakfast company. So it's, uh, it's a 315 uh, cash, uh, it's a 350, uh, $315 cash offer. It's $7.5 billion. Uh, Unilive, they said that they will not have enough uh, money at the end of the week uh, to continue their activity normally. They will uh, go uh, lower than the three sold that their creditor uh, uh, give them. So stock, it's mostly, it's very, very, very dangerous for stock like that. Inoko holding... Uh, they are not far from being acquired by Gurnet Points Capital. We don't have any idea of the amount of the, the deal, but it will be in stock uh, and cash. And also they will have a, a bonus for if the, the uh, it tree sold for the performance. It's most of the time it's what's happened in the uh, Elker stock. Uh, 230, we could have a new entry point for day trading. I will not open, I will not keep this position overnight because sometimes uh, when we have the real offer, the stock go down when the offer is less interesting than what the market was expecting. So the stock will continue to be volatile today, but don't hold overnight on a stock like that. 
plug power, they sign a big deal with Amazon to uh, for the, uh, their uh, com their tech their battery technologies and hydrogen technology. Uh, it's up 68 percent, so it's, n it's really tough to trade. And Amazon continue its movement. The stock is absolutely crazy right now. Uh, we had another news on Amazon. So Amazon uh, uh, signed a deal with the NFL to uh, stream the Thursday night uh, football game. It's a 50 bill. It's a f not billion. Sorry, 50 million dollar deal. So uh, last year there was Twitter who streamed some of the NFL game. It was kind of a success. And this year there was Twitter, Amazon, Google, and Apple that bid for the the Thursday night game. I'm a big big fan of the NFL, and the Thursday night game are not the the, they were not the best one last year. We could hope that they will have a better game, but it's more. It's it's not about, but it's show how the NFL continue to be in advance with all of the other sports to have revenue, and it's also show that everybody battle hard to have sports event because it's probably the last thing that people who are watching live. Uh, it's not interesting to 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 watch sports when you know the result. So it's probably uh, where all the money for the advertisement will go in the next few years. So Amazon sing a deal. I think it's one of the reasons the stock continue, but there are multiple uh, reasons why Amazon is pushing right now. Uh, this stock is just, uh, it's very tough to analyze. Uh, if you have open a position at 867 on the breakout, I will suggest that yes, you could take a profit if you want, but it's a stock I think that we could keep a long term uh, it's a stock that will continue to eat uh, market share from a uh, retailer in uh, everyone, probably. So this is it for the news. And the last news was uh, it's the new ETF for the uh, Marijuana Medical. It's uh, HMMG. It's uh, Beta Pro. It's follow the uh, North American Marijuana Medical I Index. So uh, the biggest position in the index is Aurora Cannabis, Maple Leaf Greenwall, Tronos Group, uh, that was Pharmacam. Uh, they also have Afria, Canopy Grow, but Afria and Canopy Grow, I was, uh, in Canada, Canopy Grow is the biggest uh, weed stock, but it's not the biggest position in the index. Um, so the index opened today at 10, pushed 10.50, now it's deflate. I have a question also on uh, Afria, so we will... Uh, look at uh, i will answer this question uh, in a couple of minutes so this is it mostly so we are ready to answer the question when buy ekg uh, you don't give me the the ekg so cardio uh, solution um very tough very tough question honestly i will not buy a stock like that that was why this will be my first answer every time the stock push it's false signal i could see that the next entry point is around nine but i think that the stock stop could stop just before 11. so i will see nine nine and nine point five if you absolutely want to buy the stock I'm not a big fan of it aph last question aph uh, this is pharma this is Oh, it's on TS6 right now. Afria. So Afria, uh, it was a tough a breakout. It was not a breakout on the a, on a market guru. I think it was more yesterday, but I'm not sure we put it in breakout yesterday. It was a tough move, but you open a position at 708. So around there, I will. It's tough to know, but I think I will close the position if we go around 7. Uh, the reason why the, the 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 marijuana stock goes higher today, low, we have Afria. I think the best one today is Organigram. Uh, we had a big move of Canimed, but deflate. It's about first and Pharmacam. This is now Kronos Group. Low. They changed the name. It's another breakout. So the reason why the the, the ca cannabis stock goes up today, well, first of all, they are the the beta pro index. So. Uh, the, the beta friend index, the ETF, has to buy position in their stocks. So it could be a reason. And there was also uh, in the, the news yesterday on Radio Canada, they talk about the, the project uh, that the, the Liberal will deposit. They have, uh, they, they're supposed to deposit by mid-April, so they have approximately another 10 days. So n not Monday and uh, five days, but in the, the, in the next two Monday, 
the Eastern Monday, it could be the date. So don't forget, uh, buy the, new, the rumors, sell the news. I think it's something that could happen with the marijuana stock. So don't be stuck too much in this position. If you have stocks for a long, long term, or if you have positions since long time, it's okay. But uh, be cautious about opening position there. I think we could still have some spike, but uh, be, uh, be alert that the, the, the project should be deposited at the, uh, at the assembly, at the politician assembly next week or at the beginning in two weeks. And uh, this is it for the show. Have a nice evening, a nice uh, afternoon, everyone. So I think that the market look, could come back. And I think that sector like energy, gold mining could be interesting in the afternoon if it's pushed higher. We're not far from making new high on NASDAQ and on the Dow.